What does it mean to you to be a European shooting star? Well, it's it's um, I'm really happy. <laughs> it's an honor to be to be selected. So I'm I'm really happy and grateful. What are your expectations and hopes? Yeah, I don't have any expectations. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Because uh, it's not something that you can, um, you know, you can control in any way. So um, I'm happy to have this opportunity. I know that uh, you ne also need to be really lucky that there is a role outside uh, that you're right for and that you cannot know. So. Why have expectations? <laughs> <laughs> What was the trigger that you decided to become an actress? Was there a certain film or series? No, I just felt in love with acting as a kid um, because at school we had this theater, theater course that I took and I felt in love with, uh, with acting. So the love for cinema came much later. Um, I just wanted to act. That was my big passion, um, yeah. What about your parents? Did they say to you, you have to learn a profession, a real profession? Well, I was so secure. About, I, I remember, I, I actually remember that when I was 12, I went up to my mom and I said, I will be an actress. <laughs> I love acting. And I was ap apparently really convincing because they were like, okay, if that's what you want to do. And then, of course, parents are a bit worried because uh, it's it's not a certain, you know, it's not a certain job. But uh, they trusted me, and and I'm really grateful for that. And they supported me. They're not like, oh, go yes, to be. They were a bit worried, but they trusted me. And uh, yes. What do you like about acting? It's a hard question because it's uh, there is no never really found a final answer to that. Um, I guess it's my way to expand reality, my experience of reality. I guess reality bores me a bit. Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. so. This this, is this job boring. is the perfect <laughs> one. <laughs> um, I'm not good. I'm not a good writer. Uh -uh. So acting is perfect. The film Ferrari has not yet been released in Germany. You I'm not in the movie anymore because they cut the role. Really? Yes. And I had some Which questions about I'm it. I'm so, so sorry. Why? Why? I mean, I'm so I'm so sorry. Uh, it was not a big role. It was a really nice role, small role, but uh, I felt it was really beautiful. You cannot, you see, you cannot even. No, there are many reasons why little roles can be sacrificed sometimes because of because when you edit the movie you understand that that maybe is not uh, helping the movie. So I I, tr I I'm with my work I try to I want the movie to be the, the best that it can be. So if my role could have uh, maybe created some problem for any reason, I understand. They should cut it. Oh. Uh, you played Cecilia Mancini. What was it about your role, your character? Well, it was actually, at the beginning, she was not, this is a, like a fictional name because uh, the character was, and the story of the character was Fiamma Breschi. And she was the fiance of a, of a pilot who died. Um, the Spaniard. Mm? The Spaniard, the man from Spain? No, 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 an Italian, an Italian pilot. And, um, and she was left uh, alone. Um, and Enzo Ferrari felt he, fe he felt a lot guilty for that because she, uh, she had a difficult situation even with the family of, of, of her um, boyfriend and uh, she, le she was left with nothing really. So Enzo Ferrari kind of took care of her um, and actually they after became partners in work she's apparently the one who invented uh, the yellow the, the specific yellow for Ferrari you know um, this was not told in the movie but it was just told of the beginning when she struggles and he helps her out 
um, and that was Fiamma Breschi, but they changed the name because Fiamma's story was uh, another year. So they changed it into Cecilia Manzini, just not, just not to be wrong. But that was her story. Ferrari is for me in the film a kind of ruthless. I haven't person. seen the film. Ah, oh. <laughs> okay, I not understand. Yet. <laughs> not yet, because when it came out, I I didn't no, I did not make it to watch it. I I was working and I couldn't really find the time, and um, but I will watch it. <laughs> Um, Good Mothers won the award for best series at last year's Berlinale. Yeah. And this year there is neither a sec section for series nor a prize. Um, I know. What do you think about it? I don't. I don't. I. I didn't really. I know because I read it on the um, news. I don't really know why. It might be a money uh, money issue. issues. I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. It was really good for us. It was really good for us uh, to come here and. Obviously, it was a great emotion, but I think it helped the TV series as well. Um, I'm sorry. Are uh, series uh, generally underrated, do you think? I don't, I don't think so. I think, uh, on the contrary, the TV series are getting more and more attention and more and more money. And uh, actually, the way of shooting a TV series is, n is not anymore so different from shooting a movie. Uh, so... But yes, maybe in terms of a word, of space, uh, but not really. Like I, f I think they're doing pretty well. <laughs> TV series. Yeah, um, but not here <laughs> anymore. Not not here <laughs> yeah. in Germany. No, at the Berlinale. <laughs> not here. <laughs> yeah, but it's just money, you know. Yeah. It's just a money thing. You play Giuseppina Pesce in Good Mothers, and I thought um, maybe the asked you to play another role because uh, <laughs> Lea Garofalo is a similar character or maybe the um, prosecutor, I don't know. No, I got straight into ah. for, for Giuseppina. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't audition for any other role. They, they went straight, straight for that. How did you prepare for the role? Uh, it, was a, it was an interesting process because I'm from Veneto, which is up in the north of Italy, and Giuseppina, she's Calabrian, and, and she's also, she, she, she obviously grew up in a Ndrangheta uh, environment, uh, in a really important family in Ndrangheta, so a really powerful family. So that's a complete different environment. And I studied uh, a lot. Uh, I, th I feel that the work that I did on the dialect and uh, was really helpful for me because it uh, pushed me to find people as many as I could to try to grab to um, grab something uh, and that uh, helped me even traveling I needed to uh, take as much as I could so even traveling around uh, Calab Calabria, go, going in places where they suggest you is better not to go. Um, sensing that feeling of being observed or being asked why you're there and who you are. I'm not saying, I don't want to say that Calabria is all like that. I was just looking for that. Calabria is an amazing uh, region of Italy, amazing, and you should go because their people are incredibly welcoming and, and it's an amazing place to, to go and visit. But I was specifically looking for something and I, I feel that uh, it, I, I, I got the material, I, I felt I needed to, to try to understand Giuseppina better. So uh, yes, through the dialect and through the people and, and obviously my imagination. Did you read the book? No, I didn't read the book. Uh, why not? Because it was in English and it's a really oh. big book. <laughs> so I decided to fo <laughs> I decided to focus on the script. <laughs> um, how much uh, has um, maybe cinema changed because of the competition from Netflix, Amazon, Disney? The cinema changed, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I feel that we we still need to understand how to how to behave and how to deal with this. I am just afraid that the market uh, the market pr principles uh, could maybe um, a bit 
not help creativity and um, the artist's way of expressing the f freedom to express because we're uh, I feel the risk is that uh, the um, the market has the best in this uh, uh, I don't know if I, if I'm <laughs> speaking English but I feel that that what we need to what we need to be careful um, but I'm not I'm not going like oh no Netflix Netflix helped incredible movies to be alive and also TV series to be alive so that is the way we want it to work and that is the kind of project we want to be part uh, of so I feel that those cinema shouldn't compete shouldn't have to try to compete with platforms I feel that cinema should go should be should believe in I think that producers should really really yeah to invest in cinema a bit more maybe um, maybe streaming providers are more helpful because you are freer to do some stuff that you can't do in TV, at least here in Germany, I don't know. So you mean cinema? Yeah, uh, uh, also in series, because if you, I don't know if Rai has such good programs, Italian shows like uh, Netflix. I example. feel that Rai uh, did good TV series, like on Rai 2 especially, in the last 10 years they've, they've done pretty well. Um, Netflix. It, it's I'm doing. I'm working for Netflix now, yeah. and uh, and I see the like we're we're trying to to make good uh, project, but it's I feel it's still something that needs to find its own uh, strength. And for the reason I I told you, I feel that uh, there uh, there are certain stereotypes that are easy to work. That 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 is gonna work. And I feel that we still need to understand how every artist can find its own space in the machine. But um, it can happen. What can you tell me about the Netflix series ACAP? Well, not much because I'm still shooting it. Your character, okay. Well, it's, no, name, I, can, I, can just say, I can just say that it's taken from ACAP, the movie, the Solima movie. Uh, so it exists a movie already and now the TV series is from the movie um, so the topic is the same and uh, but the director and the actor except for Marco Giallini are different it's not kind of a sequel no it's not it's not mm -hmm. and the actual director now is Michele Alike and it's not Soli Mani you have acted a lot in historical films, I think, in series two, like uh, Romulus now, and Love Gets a Room. Um, what fascinates you about historical roles? Um, I don't really like, I don't really, it's just interesting. I feel that most interesting thing is the, maybe the clothes that changes and the historical moment that uh, so certain project gives you the opportunity to uh, to study. Um, but the work doesn't really change. The work is pretty much the same. Clothes changes maybe sometimes the way you move, the way you perceive your body. Uh, and the historical study make you, make you understand a bit deeper how is... Uh, uh, maybe for me how women are perceived at that certain age so uh, you, that changes the work but uh, otherwise it's pretty much the same. Italy was really hard hit by Covid and how did it change you as a person and you, for your profession? Well it did for sure, ch something for sure happened. Uh, I don't know though I don't really know how. Uh, for sure I struggled right after to deal with people. <laughs> uh, you were too Because I was too used to be a mess and be fine with it. And then to put up a mask again was a struggle. Because I was like, <sighs> I feel so good <laughs> by myself. Um, so I, feel, I felt that I struggled a bit because we need masks here and there. We need them. 
so it was a bit of a struggle for me to put them up again. But um, I don't really know you know at the deeper level how am I changed. I, and, and it's the same answer for my work. I don't know if my work has changed after COVID because uh, if I change, for sure my work changed, but I don't know in what way. In the 50s, 60s and 70s, uh, we had a lot of Italian stars all over the world, you know, Lola Brigida, Sofia Lorraine, yeah. Claudia Cardinale. Um, why don't we have a big European star or star from Italy now? What changed? Well, the Italian cinema, cinema for sure suffered. I mean, we had that golden era, right? And then it suffered, and there are many, many reasons why, I feel. Um, yeah, I think that there are many, many thoughts on why, but for sure that's a reality, and um, I don't really have an, a, an easy answer to this. I, I think this is much more a conversation, a really interesting conversation to have. Um, for sure, we need. Uh, yeah, we need. Uh, we need. I don't know. We need good scripts. <laughs> uh, thanks for the interview. Thank you.